now here everybody you can see the example number four what should be added in the polynomial this is a different criteria of question and it is telling you that what should be added in the polynomial x cube plus 2x square minus 9x plus 1 so that it is completely divisible by x minus x plus 4 okay so the polynomial px here is x cube plus 2x square minus 9x plus 1 okay and gx uh, so yeah polynomial gx is x plus 4 now what should be the number that we should add in this uh, px that is completely divisible by x plus 4. For that, we have to divide and find out the remainder. Okay, because remainder is the value that is left behind. Okay, if you are going to subtract the value, is add that value in the given polynomial, then it will be completely divisible. Okay, let's see. Okay, now the question is that what should be added in the polynomial here? Okay, so the given polynomial here is what? x cube plus 2x square minus 9x plus 1, okay? This is a given polynomial to everybody, okay? Now, so that it is completely divisible by x plus 4. Now, here, gx is equal to x plus 4. Uh, for Kritika and Rushit, okay, uh, we know that that px, the given polynomial, this is the dividend, okay? Like you generally divide any uh, number from other number, you just uh, see like this only, but instead of a uh, natural number here, we are using polynomials, okay? So it's equal to gx, and multiply by multiply multiply by qx plus rx okay now gx is the divisor qx is the quotient and rx is the remainder okay so this is the main uh, division algorithm you can say the remainder theorem okay that we are going to use okay so now we are going to divide px from gx to find out the remainder then only we can add that remainder to the px so that it is fully divisible by x plus 4 and x plus 4 is become it should become the factor of x3 okay now how we do divide it x plus 4 okay x cube plus 2x square minus 9x square minus 9x plus 1 okay now when we are dividing so the first number we need to cancel the first number first okay so it will be x square okay okay we need to cancel x square first so x square multiplied by the whole thing it will give you x cube okay accordingly we are going to choose okay x cube minus x so it will give you x square okay so we are multiplying with x square and whenever we are doing division, you need to change the renew to alter the sign. Whatever sign is here, plus it means minus is here. So the first term is cancel now. Okay. Now we will go for another term. Okay. X squared plus 4x. So it will give you plus 4x squared. And when you are going to change, alter the sign, it will be minus 2x squared. Okay. Plus minus will be minus 9x plus 4. Uh, 9x plus 1. Okay. Now you need to cancel the first term. That is 2x squared. Okay. If you are cancelling 2x square, so you need to multiply with 2x to get a term like minus 2x square. Okay, if you will so get 2x square, you are going to change the sign as and it is get cancelled. Okay, now we are going to multiply with 4 minus 8x plus 1. Okay, now what you will get here? Oh, sorry, this one will not be here. Give it down. Okay, so the sign will be altered here, and what you will get here? Okay, okay, minus x, okay, minus 1x plus 1 okay now if you need to cancel this minus x okay what you will use here minus 1 okay because x you are already having here understood so it will be minus x minus uh, minus 4 okay and you are going to change the sign so this will be cancelled but here you will get plus 5 so everybody plus 5 is the remainder i think yeah because plus 5 here you can see there is no coefficient left okay this is the final number and Whenever we, uh, we get the remainder, we check the degree of the remainder is less than the degree of gx. Okay, obviously it is less than the degree of gx because in gx the degree is 1. And here we get the coefficient that is degree is 0. Okay, so the remainder here is, is equal to 5. Now, we want, in the question it is written that what number should be added uh, in the polynomial, given polynomial px, so that x plus 4 becomes fully divisible. Okay, so that, uh, that x plus 4 completely divides this polynomial. So we... We need to add, you need to add minus 5, add minus 5. Always whenever you're adding, you will change the sign and then add. If it is, you get the remainder as plus 5, so you will add minus 5. If you get the remainder as minus 5, you're going to add plus 5, all right? Okay, so when you will add minus 5 in the given polynomial, px minus 5, then you will get the polynomial that will be fully divisible by the x plus 4. So what will be it? It will be x cubed plus 2x squared minus 9x plus 5. Okay, and you will add here minus 5, so you will get x cubed plus 2x squared minus 9x minus 4. So you can see here, if it is minus 4, then it would be here minus 4 at this place. Okay, everybody, 
here it, instead of plus 1, you will get minus 4. Am I right? And then plus minus, it will be cancelled and you will get a 0. Okay? Understood this question? Any doubt, anybody? Kitika and Rushil, and do you have any doubt in this? I think first time uh, the division is going on polynomial. You understood about this polynomial division? Okay, Rudronia, Shazan, anybody faced any problem in this question? No, no doubt. Okay, now let's see uh, another topic that we need to cover. Method of finding the remaining zeros of a polynomial when some of its zeros are given. Okay, like what is the highest degree of the polynomial? The number of zeros depend on the highest degree. For example, the degree of the polynomial. The degree of the polynomial is what? The highest, uh, the highest uh, you can say the highest power of the polynomial is the degree of the polynomial. So if the degree of the polynomial is 3, then maximum zeros that the polynomial will have it will be 3, okay? It may be 1, 2, or 3, but the maximum will be 3, okay? So, in a question, it may be given that one of the zeros is given to you, okay? But you need to find out the other zeros of the polynomial, okay? So, how can you solve those questions? Let's have a look over here. See, for that, what you have to do? Like, uh, you are given here, given that root 2 is one of the zeros of a cubic polynomial. Now, as it is a cubic polynomial, so maximum of 3 zeros will be there for the cubic polynomial, okay? So, only one of the zero is given to you, that is root 2. From the zeros, you need to find out the factor, okay? Whenever it is say, uh, written this alpha is the zero, zero of polynomial px of px, then what does it mean? That x minus alpha is a factor, factor of px, okay? If, if it would be minus, then here it will come plus, okay? Because alpha, that means alpha is a zero of polynomial, so that means you are putting x as alpha, okay? So if you bring alpha here, on x side, so it becomes x minus alpha is equal to 0. So this becomes the factor of the px. So when you've got the factor of the px, you're going to divide this factor from px and from the whatever question you'll get, from that you'll find out the other two zeros of the polynomial. For example, let's see this particular question here. Uh, let me copy it. Okay, fine. okay, now given is root 2. Okay, that means root 2 is the 0 of the polynomial. That means x is equal to root 2 is the 0. Uh, is the zero. So x minus root 2 is the factor, factor of px. And the value of px is what here? The value of px is equal to 6x cubed plus root 2x squared minus 10x minus 4 root 2. So what we are going to do, we are going to divide x minus, uh, we are going to divide px from x minus 2. So here, gx is equal to x minus root 2. Okay, now let's use the division algorithm here. Shatan, will you help me divide? What will be the first number? First question. Well, the first number will be uh, 6x squared. 6x is squared. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we will alter the sign. So no minus. Minus. So it will be cancelled. Now the next number that we will get is 6, root, 6 root, root 2x root two x squared. 6 root 2x squared. Okay. That was in minus. I'm not the sign. Yeah. So here we will get 7 root 2x squared minus 10x minus 4 root 2. Okay, now the next number that we need to uh, put here will be. And the next number will be 7, seven root 2. Yes, 7 root 2x. Two two x. Two two x. Yeah, 7 root 2x will be there. 7 root 2x squared, it will become when you will multiply this number. From you will change the sign. And sign will be changed minus and then minus 7 root 2x. Okay, you got 7 root 2. Wait, root 2. I'm to 7 root 2. Root two. Root two. 14x. Yeah, so it will be 14x. Sign will be altered. So you will get here 4x minus 4 root 2. Okay, 4 root 2. Now you will you have to multiply here with 4. four. four. So it will be 4x minus 4 root 2. Okay. Change so the sign. Plus, plus. plus. Okay. Both will be cancelled and you get the remainder. Okay. Because this is a 0. Okay. We already knew that it will be become 0. Why? Because this is the root 2 is a 0 of the polynomial. That means x minus root 2 is a factor. So when it is a factor, so your remainder will also be 0. Okay. If your remainder is not coming 0, that means your calculation is somewhere wrong. Okay. You can judge your calculation also this way. Okay. So what we got here, the value of question, the value of qx, the value of qx that we got here is 6x squared plus 7 root 2x, 6x squared plus 7 root 2x plus 4. Okay. This is the value of the question that we got. Okay, now what we can do to find the other two zeros, we are going to use a split method on, uh, you can split the middle term, okay, you can split the middle term so you can take things common, okay. So it can be written as 4 root 2x plus 3 root 2x plus 4, okay. You can write this like this and then you can take something common from here. Uh, if you are taking common from here, so it will be 2x 
and if you take into so 3x okay plus 2 root 2 okay now here also it will be here you can take only root 2 as common so it will be 3x plus 2 root 2 okay yeah so you can see these these both are common 3x 2 root 2 2x plus root 2 okay so now since yeah, it is a factor of px okay this both will be the factor so you can equate it to 0 2 root 2 is equal to 0 and here 2x plus root 2 is equal to 0 so what you will get here for first x value will be equal to 2 root 2 by 3 x value will be equal to root 2 by 2 okay so this root 2 by 2 you can write as 1 by root 2 also okay now any doubt in this that how i got the other two zeros of the polynomial First, I have divided because I know I knew all the one zero of the polynomial. So I got the one, one of the factor of polynomial. From that, I got the other factor of the polynomial. This is also the factor of a polynomial. Okay, because if you are going to divide from this particular polynomial, okay, then also it is fully divisible. Okay, now we are going to split the quotient uh, that we got to get the other two zeros of the polynomial. I have split this middle term. We'll split the middle term. Okay. Now, after splitting the middle term, we took common and we got two of this, okay? 3x plus uh, 2 root 2 is equal to 0, 2x plus root 2 is equal to 0, okay? So, x values, so what are the zeros of the polynomial now? One of the zeros given to you, that is root 2. The other two zeros that we got is 1 by root 2 and the third one that we got is 2 root 2 by 3. So, these are the three zeros of this particular cubic polynomial. Any doubt in this question? I can explain this once again. Can you find the other two zeros once again? Can you show how you can... Okay. How I split the terms? From no, there. splitting. Splitting. I... Ma'am, what did you do for to find another zero? Okay. okay. This was the polynomial that was given to you. Okay. Now, see the question, Chagan. Okay. Now, it is given to you that root 2 is one of the zero of the polynomial. So, if root 2 is the zero of the polynomial, that means x is equal to root 2. If you will put x is equal to root 2 in the given polynomial px, then the whole value of the polynomial will become zero. Okay, p root 2 will become 0. What it said that p root 2 will become 0. Okay, okay. Now root 2 is the 0 of the polynomial. That means x minus root 2. You can see here x is equal to root 2 is a 0. So if you bring root 2 on the other side, that, that becomes x minus root 2. So x minus root 2 is one of the factor of px. Okay, one of the factor of px. Okay, now if you are going to divide x minus root 2. Uh, uh, if you are going to divide px from x minus root 2, you will get a remainder 0 and you will get a quotient also. You understand? See, simple example. Two, now I understand. 2 can be divided by, uh, 12 can be divided by 2, 6, three, 2, 3, 4, four all this, okay? But if you see the factors of 2s and what are there, okay? 2, 3 is a 6, 6, 3 is a 12, okay? Sorry, 6, 2 is a 12, okay? So these are the factors. So you can say here that these are the zeros of this polynomial. Okay, this 2, 3, and 2. Okay, or you can write here 2 multiplied by 6 also. Okay, so you have got one of the 0. Okay, now you have got one as a quotient. The 6 you have got as a quotient. Okay, for example, if you are going to multiply 12 by 2, so what you will get? 2, 6 are 12. You can write directly. Yes, Shazan? Yes, ma'am. And everybody, so you got a quotient as 6. Okay, but you can split this 6 as 2 and 3. Yeah. So 2 and 3, again, you will get it. So what this is only what I'm doing, okay? I divided x, uh, the polynomial px from the given polynomial gx, x minus root 2. I got a question of 6x squared plus 7 root 2x plus 4. It means that this is also one of the factor of the polynomial, okay? 6x squared plus 7 root 2x plus 4 is a factor. This is a factor, factor of px. Do you remember when I told you the th theory question? Let me give you the theory question. Yeah, the division algorithm of polynomial. What does the division algorithm of polynomial say here? Okay, yeah, just here. If Px and Gx are any of the two polynomials, okay, it is not written here, okay? I think in ninth class, I told you about that. The factors, do you remember, Shadan? Yes, ma'am, I thought. I think that you is were from yesterday Yeah, so they both are the factors, okay, everybody. If this is a quotient, this is also one of the factor of the polynomial Px, okay? And we are splitting this particular quotient to get the other two zeros of the polynomial, okay? Don't get confused. Let's see one more question, okay? Okay, uh, let's see one more question. Yeah. Mom, can you explain yeah. the last part of that question? Last part, okay. Last part. When I split it in? Uh, no, after that. Yeah. Uh, after after the factorization. Somewhat here? Somewhat here? Yeah. Okay. So here, see, I got a question, 6x squared plus 7 root 2x plus 4. Okay, this is the question. Now, I need to find the other two zero. Okay, how I'm going to find out the other two zero? I'm splitting the middle term. 
okay i'm splitting the middle term now i split the middle term as 4 root 2x plus 3 root 2x okay plus 4 and the other two remains the same now what i'm doing i'm taking common from the first two term and from the last two term now the first two term if i'm taking common you can see it is 6x square plus 4 root 2x from this i have taken 2x as common okay because 2x is common so what is left in 6x square if i'm taking 2x common 6 3x okay because if you multiply 2 3 uh, 2x into 3x you'll get 6x square okay now the other term is 2 root 2 okay because i have taken 2x common so we got 2 root 2x okay now in the second one if you see the second two of the terms the last two of the terms 3 root 2x plus 4 so from here i have taken root 2 common because only root 2 is common there then again i got the same value 3x plus 2 root 2 you can see here the values in the bracket are same on both the sides so this can be taken common from both the terms. So I have taken common 3x plus 2 root 2 common. And then what if I'm taking common, so what I got? 2x plus root 2. So that is in the an, another bracket. Okay. And since it is one of the factor of Pa, then this also is equal to 0. Uh, so won't the value be negative? Uh, minus b by a. Minus 3 by a. See, one of the values is the value 2 root 2. Okay. Okay, you got this from here, you can get the value of x. Okay. Come from the last equation. 2x plus root 2x. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, okay. so, so yeah. here you are equating both the equations are equating to 0. From first one, you got x is equal to 2 root 2 by 3. From second, you will get root 2 by 2. So root 2 by 2 can be written as 1 by root 2. Yeah, because 2 can be written as root 2 multiplied by root 2. Any doubt still? Uh, Mom, from the last equation, uh, the 0 will be minus b by a, right? Minus 3 by a. You are talking about this equation? 3x plus 2 root 2? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. See, I have, I will write it here clear. 3x plus 2 root 2 is equal to 0. I have equated to 0. Okay, now you have to find out the value of x. So, how you can do? It will be minus. Then equal to my, uh, minus 2 root 2. Okay, yeah, here minus and you also think. Ma'am, actually you did it wrong. Uh, it will be minus 2 root 2 and minus 2 root 2 by 3 are the zero. Yeah, here minus sign that I missed. Yeah, sorry. So it will be minus 2 root 2 by, see, you got the value, and again you'll get minus 2 root 2 by yeah, 3. Okay? Yeah, because I got a different answer. And how you got 1 by root 2? Yeah, Shazan? Well, how did you get 1 by root 2? I'm getting minus uh, root 2 by 2. Here also I missed the sign minus, that means. Yeah, here also I missed the sign minus. I, I, I wrote the value directly and I missed the sign. Okay? So well, here well, also well. you'll get minus 1 by root 2. Both both sides you will be having minus. Only minus sign problem is there. No, but Shazan. I got uh, minus root 2 by 2. Yeah, that is correct. Minus root 2 by 2, na, you got it. Yes. Yeah. So, but 2 can be written as C. Shazan. X is equal to minus root 2 by 2. You got this value? Yes. Okay. Now listen. Minus root 2. So, 2, you can write 2 as root 2 multiplied by root 2. Yeah. So, now you can cancel root 2 from root oh, 2. Oh, yes, I got it. I got it. Yeah, you got it. So, it will be minus root 2. Only minus sign I missed in both of the question. Okay. So anybody any doubt still? Uh, That's not doubt clear. Okay, let's see uh, one one two more questions. Okay, so clear the doubt. Okay, because we uh, these topics need little more practice. Okay, and whatever question you'll get in the assignment, just practice it. Okay, okay, because they need some practice. Okay, now question number six here. Uh, find all the zeros of three x to the power four minus eleven x cube minus x square plus thirty three x minus twenty four. If you uh, know that two of the zero are root three and minus root three. Okay, so two of the zeros are given. That is x minus uh, sorry uh, root three and minus root three. And since it is a, a biquadratic polynomial, the degree is four. So maximum zeros that the polynomial will have four. Okay, so two zeros are given. So we need to find the other two. Okay, let's copy this question. And is still any doubt is there, everybody? You can clear your doubts here also. Okay, now, now uh, let's see. Okay. Now here, px is written as 3x to the power 4 minus 11x cubed minus x square plus 33x minus 24. Yeah, this is the px, okay? Now, root 3 and minus root 3 are zeros, okay? So that means x minus root 3 and x plus root 3 are the factors, factors of px, okay? Am I right? So they both are the factor of px. So you can see, you can write this as x minus. You can answer the question. Yeah, Shazan. I'm question. This is the question. Okay. So uh, x minus root three, x plus root three. Can anybody tell what what can it can be written? X minus root three, x plus root three. Um, x square minus root three x square. Yeah. 
it can be written as it is the it is of the form a minus b a plus b okay so it which is equal to a square minus b square so a square that is x square minus b square that is root 3 square that you will get 3 so x square minus 3 is one of the factor of this polynomial from these two factors we have and how you got uh, x minus a plus 3 what how, how you got x minus x yeah. square minus 3 no no how you got x plus 3 x minus 3 is it in the question see in the question it is written that two of why it is y i don't know why see now it is visible to you shazan that two of the zeros of the polynomial are root 3 and minus root so what that means if root 3 is the uh, zero of the polynomial so what that means can you tell me what will be the factor of the polynomial what is the factor will be x minus root 3. x plus see if root x minus 3, root 3 yes for root 3, x minus root 3 will be the 0 of the uh, factor of polynomial. For minus root 3, x plus root 3 will be the factor of polynomial. So I got both the term x minus root 3, x plus root 3. So I concluded it and I have written x square minus 3 is one of the factors. Okay. Now we are going to put the value of gx as x square minus 3. Okay. Now I am going to divide the given polynomial x square minus 3 from this x square minus 3. Okay. So let's write the given polynomial value. What is the given polynomial? It is 3x to the power 4 minus 11x cubed minus x square plus 33x minus 24. Okay. So this time be very careful that how it is being done. Okay. So that you don't have any doubt. And still any doubt is there, just clear it. Okay. Because you are going to get one question from here. Okay. x square minus 3. So what will be the first term that and will 3x square. Yeah, it will be 3x square because we are already having x square and when we will multiply x square from 3x square, then you will get 3x to the power of 4 and when we will alter the sign, when we will alter the sign, these both the terms get cancelled, plus minus cancelled, okay? Now, the, ne uh, the next will be 9x square, okay? So, we will get 9x square and since it will be minus and now it will change to plus, okay? Now, we will uh, copy this out, 11x to the power q. Okay, now here it will be plus 8x square because the sign of the greater value is plus. So I am putting the sign plus, but since plus minus will be minus. Okay, you know the sign, how to use the sign. If it is plus minus, so it will be minus. Okay, but the sign that we will put, that will be the, of the greater value. Okay, just the values are the value, uska sign lagega. Lekin plus minus is minus, so I am going to do minus. Okay, so here it is plus minus, so I have done the minus. The process was of minus, so 9 minus 1 will be 8. But since 9 is the bigger number, so I am putting the sign of 9. Okay, so that is plus 8x square. Okay, now the other two numbers also I am going to copy. Okay, now, now the next term that we need to cancel is minus 11x cube. Okay, that will be the next term that we need to cancel. Now, what we will be multiplying in the given our divisor so that it can divide this. And the question is the 3x to the power 4 minus 11x cube. Plus x square or minus x square? Okay, in the polynomial, I have written something wrong. No, I'm asking, is it uh, minus x square the question it is or it's plus x square? Because I wrote plus x square. There. Can you check the question? Can you check the question? question. Okay, I'll uh, just check the question maybe. It is 3x to the power 4 minus 11x cube minus x square plus 33x uh -huh. minus 24. Because I wrote uh, plus x square. Okay, maybe you are mistaken. It is minus e. 3x to the power 4 minus 11x cube minus x square plus 33x. No, man, by mistake, I wrote x to the power minus, instead of minus, I wrote plus x. Okay, so now you can change it. It is minus, okay? Because that plus minus will make your whole calculation go wrong, okay? Okay, now let's see. So we have this thing. Now, how can we cancel minus 11x cube? We have x squared. So we need to multiply with 11x to get minus 11x cube, okay? So we got minus 11x cube and then we'll change the sign as the division process. So this 11x cube is cancelled. Now we are going to multiply 11x into 3. So minus minus will give plus 33x. Okay. We got 33x and sign also minus. So the second term also got cancelled. Now we are left with the two of the term that is 8x square minus 24. Okay. Now we are already having x square. So we need to multiply with only 8. Okay. So plus 8x square and minus sign that will be cancelled and 3 8s are 24 sorry it will be cancelled so the new question that we got is gx that we got is 3x to the power square minus 11x plus 8 minus 11x plus 8 okay now what we are going to do we are going to split the middle term to get the other two zeros of the polynomial okay so now uh, 
uh, we can write three x square and minus eight uh, x uh, minus three. Yeah, minus eight x minus three x plus eight. So you are going to take x as common, and you'll get three x minus eight. And here you take uh, minus one as common, and you will get three x minus eight. And uh, so you got three x minus eight and x minus one. Okay. So the x value will be eight by three, and x value will be one. So have you got all the zeros? See, two of the zeros are this. So the all the four zeros are root three minus root three, eight by three, and one. Any doubt still? Anybody? No, I have no doubts. Okay. You need to be very much clear about how you are dividing. Okay. And then the quotient value that you will get. And here you are getting the correct quotient or not? If you are if you it is given that to the zero of the polynomial. That means x square minus three is the factor of the polynomial. That means it will fully divide the polynomial p. And that means your remainder should always be zero. Okay, if this condition is there. Okay. Now, whatever value that you got in the question, we are going to split the middle term here to break down it into a breakdown, and you'll get the two different values here. Okay. This is the zero of the polynomial. Shall we move ahead, everybody? Pritika and Roshil, are you facing any issue? Are you understanding what I am uh, telling about polynomial division? Polyn. Uh, I can't hear you. You need to switch on the mic and say. Uh, still not audible. Have you understood? Yeah. Have you uh, understood? Have you understood? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. This one, yeah. One, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's see one more question to just uh, give you a okay. The last one for which value of a and b the zeros q x is equal to x q plus two x square plus a are also the zeros of the polynomial p x plus okay. So now here the question is little twisted. You have to see. That for which value of a and b you have to find out the value of a and b. For which value of a and b the zero of q x are also the zero of the polynomial p x. That means the zero of q x are same as the zeros of the p x. Okay, so this condition is given to you, and you need to find out the value of a and b. Okay, you can see a is given in q x and b is given in p x. Okay, so now how can you do that? Any uh, hint, Shazan? Yeah, first you need to find the value for. Uh... Uh, like you know, we did it yesterday. We make equation one, then equation two, then subtract it. It's like that only. Yeah, you will get the equation, but uh, how you will get the equation? See, if you see q x, then the uh, your uh, degree is three, and for p x, your degree is five. Okay, so you're going to divide q x from p x. Okay, and whatever quotient uh, the remainder that you will get. Okay, since uh, the zero the same, the remainder will be. Okay, let me explain you in detail here. Let me copy this question first. Okay. So the zero of q x are also the zeros of the polynomial p x. Okay, that means q x is one of the factor of p x. Okay, because the zeros of both the polynomials are same, so that means q x. It states that q x is one of the factor of p x. Okay, since q x is one of the factor of p x, that means you can divide q x from p x. Okay, you can divide q x from p x. Now, if you're going to divide q x from p x, the remainder that we are getting. Is one minus one plus a x square plus three plus three a x plus b minus two a. Okay, since our time is almost over, so okay. So I'm just giving you a quick explanation of this. Try to do it. In next class, we'll discuss in detail. Okay. So if q x is a factor of g x, Shadan, can you tell me what will be the condition that if q x is a factor of g x, then remainder will be? I'm zero. Yeah. So the remainder will be zero. So from the given condition, we know that q x is a factor of p x. That means the remainder should be zero. But here we got the remainder in the form of b and a. Okay, because the value was unknown. So now you are going to equate that whole value of the remainder to zero. Okay, when you will equate it to zero, you will form many equation. Okay, it is not sliding actually. Okay, Samishu, so there I uh, am not able to write. Okay, so. You just listen here only. I'll explain you here. Okay. Now, if you can see here this particular value, you are going to relate it to zero. Okay. This is the remainder. This is the remainder value since uh, p uh, q x is a factor of q uh, q x is a factor of p x. That means r x should be equal to zero. Okay. So you are we are going to equate this uh, remainder value to zero, and we are going to equate the remainder value you see here in this particular. Okay. You can equate it equating it to zero. So other side it is zero. Okay, the complete value is zero. So for individual value also you can uh, you can see here on equal to sign zero dot x square plus zero dot x plus zero. Okay, so every value will be equated to zero. That means you will get the equation as minus one plus a is equal to x. Sorry, a is equal to zero. Uh, three plus three a equal to zero, and b minus two a is equal to 
zero. So these are the th three equations that you get. Okay. So from first one, you you can directly see. Okay. So it will be plus. Both were a minus. So this sign will not get. And the first one will be one. The second one is minus one. Yeah. So you from the first value already you got the value of a. That is a is equal to one. So in the any of the two equation you can put the value. In the third equation you can put the value and you will get the value of b. You can put the value of a here. So b minus two is equal to zero. So b is equal to two. So the value of one, uh, a is one and the value of b is two minus. No, but if you put value for one uh, in the second equation, then you get six. Minus one. Yeah, minus. Okay. Minus, should be minus one. Uh, because if it is minus one, then if you put it in the uh, value of a in the second equation, then you get minus three. Yeah, one plus, plus a is equal to zero. So from here you got a is equal to minus one. Oh, okay. so I okay. Yeah, actually now I did wrong that here. You see, it is minus one plus a. Whole minus one plus a are going to be equal to zero. Okay, so actually it will be one plus a equal to zero. Okay, so a value will be equal to minus one. Okay, if you are going to put this a because this is also related to a only, so you are going to put the value of a in the next equation that is minus two multiplied by minus one is equal to zero. So that you will got b plus two is equal to zero. So b value is also equal to minus two. Okay, okay. understood? Yes, ma'am, understood. Okay. So these are the some of the condition means you need to remember some of the basic things. That if this is a factor, if q x is a factor of p, that means remainder will be zero. Okay, since it is a factor, we got the remainder in the in the form of a and b, and that remainder we have equated to zero. Okay, now I am able to show you. Okay, so I am ending the class here. Go through this question. Okay, if you still face the problem, yeah. Can we send this question on WhatsApp group? Oh yeah, of course I will send this yeah. to the WhatsApp group. And uh, just go through this question. If you still face any issue, then we will start the next chapter. Before that, I will discuss this question. Then only I will start. Okay. Okay. So I am ending this, and I will send the, this question to WhatsApp group. Okay. Bye bye.